here today working on Derek's F series. This is a four series, two door. So what we're gonna be doing is continuing some of the development work on the F series chassis. This is a buddy that used to have an E92. He sold it and then he came across this car for a good deal. So he ended up pulling the N55 out of here and he's gonna go ahead and do the LS swap. And so it's brought it down for me to scan the engine bay. So we got a bunch of markers in here on the engine bay. We're gonna get some scan data today. This is actually an X-Drive car, so the subframe's a little different than the F30, the red car that was already done. So this is really helpful to get the other chassis figured out because there's a lot of these that are X-Drive cars, but it's pretty, pretty nice car, pretty clean, red interior, sport package. This was a manual, so it should make the swap a little easier. He brought a whole bunch of stuff down. So what we're gonna do is get the engine bay scanned up I'm using two different pieces of hardware, two different scanners we're gonna be trying out. One that I normally use and a new Vega scanner to get some more general data. And we're gonna merge the two together, get the engine in here in CAD, and go through the process of what we do to get one of these mount systems figured out. So we'll get started here. Here's a little shot of working through the CAD. We got the 3D scan in here. I'm not gonna show you a lot of the process as far as the 3D scan. There's a lot of post-processing, a lot of hours that went into this combining of two scans. But then we've got the CAD model from one of our repositories. This is an X-Drive car, so we threw in one of our X-Drive cross members. We got the drivetrain level all figured out. And we started hashing out a new set of engine mounts here. So I'm gonna 3D print up a set of these, and test fit it in the car, see how it looks, and then we'll build a jig off of these 3D modeled mounts. But pretty convenient being able to do this. We can see what the power clearance is gonna be with our AC lines, and our heater core, steering shaft. And we're also gonna see on the F-Series, just like the F30, I will need to use a Corvette spacing accessory drive. There's some interference here with the sway bar. So that'll get taken care of right here. You can see it. So when this comes back almost two inches on Corvette spacing, that problem will go away. And we have plenty of room for our fan. This is truck spacing. It's real tight, but again, we're going to gain almost two inches. So get these mounts printed up. They're going right now. First, first set. We'll get it set in the car with our bare aluminum block and go from there. So I think the plan right now, later this afternoon, Josh from Guru Auto Works is going to come over with the 8HP that's going to be going in the car along with the adapter. We have an aluminum mock-up motor here, so we're going to probably go ahead and put it all together and stick it in here without the transmission first, just so we can see how the engine mounts are going to work out. Should be good based on CAD. But then we'll try to jig up a set of steel mounts, get it in here with the adapter and the 8 HP, and then we can work on building a cross member for the 8 HP in the X-Drive chassis. So, all right, we've got the passenger engine mount going in this printer. Let's see if I can show you guys. So this one's going, the other one's going.
All right, so we got the motor in on the new mount. Derek's picking pipe. Motor's in on the new mounts. Seems like everything worked out good. Motor is centered here and on the firewall. We have it centered up on the mounts, so this will have an 8 HP adapter, so we got to consider that thickness back here. And then these heater core lines on the factory valve covers with coils, this all should be good. So we're going to check the starter clearance now. We had our turbo manifold in here to see how it is. This was with an S400 actually cleared the hood. So we're going to pull the T56 out and put the adapter for the 8HP and then see how the 8HP fits. Starter clearance is good, clears the mount. I don't know what he's going to end up doing for the crossover and downpipe, but it seems to be pretty good downpipe room right here. So we got the T56 bolted in. This is an F body T56 in this engine location, which is in the middle of the mounts, just about. Maybe back just a little. You can see the clearance on the firewall. So this is accessible, serviceable with the transmission, but the F body T56 is too far forward. So you would need an offset shifter or just a regular, like a Magnum XL. It's like the Viper style. Then you can see the X drive cross member and then where the mount is. So this is how much further forward the motor is versus the E series. These mounts will be different on an F series car. But driveline angles right now, we got about one degree. So we actually can come down with the cross member slightly. We should be good on our pan clearance with the 302-2. We're gonna get one of those, throw it in and check, but in CAD everything looked good. So let's go ahead and get the T56 out and get the mount for the 8HP in here with the adapter plate. All right, we got the Guru AutoWorks 8HP adapter and the 8HP 70. This is a Dodge Durango or a Dodge truck style. I think the only difference is a tap hole up here, according to Josh. Fits pretty good. We're gonna end up making a new cross member to use the Dodge mount, which we don't have right now, but we'll do that in CAD. Just have this up here to hold it. So we have decent driveline angles, everything looks good. If anything, we need to go up with the motor a little bit, but we can do that pretty easily by spacing the motor mounts up. It's always nice to give a little adjustment going in the upward directions because sometimes these mounts are wore out and dropped. And then when you put an aftermarket mount in there, it raises the engine up. So I'd rather be low and give the option to go up with a spacer. So we're gonna get the 302-2 pan in there physically once they get the new combination put together. But it looks good in CAD, so it should all work out nice. Go ahead and tear it back apart. All right, so we're all set. Engine's back out. Derek's gonna head back up north. We gotta finish up the 8HP cross member for him. We got the engine mounts done. So those are done, jigged up, all in CAD, ready to go for the X-Drive F-Series. We're gonna look at our CAD and see how this goes with the steering for the sand and AC. And we're also gonna build a coolant tank for these. So he's gonna get going and we're gonna have more information on the F-Series swap coming soon. So catch you guys in the next one.